Hi, I'm Matt from KCK Lubricants. After the massive Formula One accident on the weekend where Roman Grosjean's car broke in half, I've received some messages asking if this is a feature of the car or if it was a faulty uh, design of the car and what might have happened. So I thought, what better way to explain it than to come down here to Gilmore Racing. We've got a couple of open wheel cars pulled apart for maintenance. And we'll have a quick run over the cars and I'll explain some of the safety features of these cars and why Roman's car broke in half. The first car we'll look at here is a Delara F308-11. Now these are a very similar concept to the current Formula One um, chassis in their design as in a carbon monocoque. So from here forwards to the end of the crash structure here is determined as a monocoque and as you can see very thick carbon fibre, extremely strong and this is to keep the driver safe. The rear transaxle on the engine bolt directly to the back of the monocoque. So as you can see there, the gearbox bolts up to the back of the Mercedes engine in this car. And then the engine bolts directly to the back of the carbon fiber bulkhead. Now, relatively small bolts, and these are actually shear studs screwed into the tub. So in a heavy impact, this, these studs are designed to break. So the rear of the car, this, this big mass of, uh, of inertia essentially can break away from the car and leave the driver safe within the cockpit. So completely normal for these to break apart and it's actually a design feature. What was a little bit unusual about Roman's uh, accident was the fuel tank hemorrhaging. The rear of the bulk, that's the, the well, essentially the fuel filler and the fuel pumps are mounted on, on the bottom of that plate. And this is a large bladder. So the bladder fits on the other side of that bulkhead and actually goes down behind the driver's seat. So you can't see it in this image, but it's completely, it's a very thick, heavy bladder, um, completely surrounded by carbon fibre. So once again, very unusual for that, to, for that to hemorrhage. Another thing that you can see in the photo is this part here. So this is carbon, part of the tub, and this is a structure for the driver's helmet. So in case of a side impact, this is very high density, but will absorb the shock of an impact. This comes out of the car, and often you'll see the, the drivers come in, they'll flick this out to give them a bit more access to get out of the car. We'll just wander over and have a look at the other chassis. It's a Delara F304, and probably better explains the actual design. Once again, bolts to the back of the, of the tub, but this even has quick release couplers. So on a tether, the quick release couplers. So once these studs break and the engine and transmission come away from the car, the cables pull on the quick, quick couplers and they're the fuel lines. The fuel, the oil has the same. It's um, disconnected and these are a zero drip, um, zero drip setup. So there shouldn't be any fuel spillage at all should this come apart in an accident. Very similar inside, still has the, the, um, the head protection there, the large um, high density padded area. And the, uh, the fuel tank essentially behind the driver sits within this part here down to the bottom of the car, then back up again. Very, um, very heavy bladder that we need to get recertified. It has a, has a time life that don't last forever and they do need to be replaced after every couple of years of service. There's some more detail on that padding around the top of the driver around the helmet. You can see in there, it's all full of foam and its sole purpose is for side impacts to absorb the shock and uh, prevent head injury to the driver. The seats, the actual seats themselves are just foam inserts, so they're moulded for the driver. We actually get them to sit in a bag of foam, so it's the correct shape and they're, they're comfortable and correctly supported. But in the car here, something you might not know is there's a big, uh, effectively a spinal board that the driver sits in, his seat goes into this 
And in the case of a heavy impact where the driver's got suspected spinal injuries, they can lift the driver out of the car while he's still in his seat. Just like that. It's got all the, all the clips on it for the spinal boards. But once again, in case of a suspected spinal injury, they can take this complete structure out of the car and the driver can remain in his seat without stressing the back at all. Under the seat, fire extinguisher bomb on the left hand side there. It's operated by the driver in case of a fire. There's outlets throughout the car to prevent, uh, to hopefully extinguish the fire, but to prevent the driver being too badly burnt. The right hand side, that's the actual battery for the car uh, and G-force meter. And in behind this section here, that's the bottom of the fuel tank bladder in there. So very well kept away from the driver and should be very safe and very protected. But once again, in Roman's crash, he, he managed to get the fuel tank to rupture. Those blue nozzles there are actually the, the, um, the firebomb outlets to spray over the back of the car. There's another one within the car to spray directly onto the driver. I hope that kind of explained why the car of Roman's broken half and the impact. It is a safety feature. It is to get the, the engine and the transmission a, a, a large portion of the vehicle's weight away from the driver and to keep him safe within the carbon tub. But if there's anything else you'd like to see in more detail on these cars, please leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And any suggestions on future content for any of the videos, please leave a, leave a comment. We do check it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.